Okay, fifth grade, lesson 116. This is on finding common denominators so that we can add or subtract or even compare fractions. Okay, so let's look at something. Okay, these two fractions have the same denominator. Do you see that? Yes. Same denominator. Okay, mm -hmm. but look at these two fractions. Do they have the same denominator? No. Okay, let's say they wanted me to add these two fractions. They'd There's be a equal, problem here. You? There's a problem here because this one's broken up into two spots. This one is broken up into four spots. How do I know how much total I have? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to figure that out. Okay, so stay with me. I'm going to take one two, half and one fourth. Okay. The first thing I want you to do is write down your common den or your denominators. Two and four. Remember those were denominators. Okay. Okay. The next thing I want you to do is discover your least common multiple. Um. Remember that. Multiples. Oh. Yes. Help me come up with the least common. Uh, so, help me with twos. One times four. I so mean, one, two times one. Two times one. Two. Then two times two. Two is four. four. Two times three is six. Two times four is eight. Two times five is ten. I'm going to stop there. Four. Four times one is four. Four times two is eight. Four times three is twelve. Four times four is sixteen. I'm going to stop there. Do you see a common? Four. In this list. So, four. I'm going to put four right here. And then I'm going to erase them. Okay, so four is the one we're going to use. So watch this, Eli. This one already has a four on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so say with me, if I'm going to add up one fourth plus one half, what do we say the least common multiple was? Uh, four. Four. Okay, so what I want you to do is out to the side, we're going to put four on the bottom. Because that's what we want them to be so that they're common. And we chose four as our answer. Remember that? Okay. What do I do to get from two to four? Um, add two. Okay, but we're doing multiplying or dividing. Um, to, from two to four, multiplying be two times two. Very good. I multiplied by two to get that four. So guess what I have to multiply the top number by? Two. Two. One times two is? Two. Two. Now, this was one half. Now it's two fourths. Are they the same thing? Or one half? Yes. Two, yes. Yeah. This was just twice as big or twice as many cuts. Do you yes. understand? Mm hmm. Okay. So, now let's look up here. What did I have to get from four to four? Nothing. I just multiplied by one. Yeah. So I'll multiply this one by one. And it's a one. One times one is one. Now, I'm going to erase this. And, and now. We have common denominators so that we can add this up. Okay. Four, okay. So It'd now, be three fourths. You just add your numerators. Two and three is two and one is three. And then you just bring your four down. <laughs> so that's the answer to that problem. Okay. It, it gets harder, or um, it got a little bit harder because the denominators were not the same. So we made them the same. Okay. Okay. And what's the most important thing you need to remember is that you're going to find your least common multiple to have the same denominator. Okay. Got right, it? Let's try another one. Okay. They're wanting me to subtract. Three and a half minus one and one sixths. Woo! Okay. So, what am I going to do first? I'm going to take my two denominators... That I'm wanting to make even. the same, I'm going to bring them down here. Two and six for just a minute. Okay. Okay? Help me count my two. One times two is two. Okay. And then two, two times, times two is four. four. Two times three six, is six. Eight, ten, twelve. I'm going to stop there. Six. Six times one is six. Six times two is twelve. Six times three is eighteen. I'm going to stop there. Do you see a common number? That's the least. No. Yes. 
Six. Six. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna make we're gonna leave that one as the same, but we're gonna change this one. Okay. okay? So I'm gonna move out to the side, and we want it to be six instead of two. How did I get six instead of two? It'd be six times. Wait, what? How do I get this oh, two? Oh, two times three. Times three. Times three. And that one times three. three. So one times three is three. Do I need to do anything to this one? No. No. So I'm going to erase this half because I have an eraser up here. It makes it easier. Mm -hmm. And changing that half to three six. You see that? Mm -hmm. Now we have the same denominators. Okay. Is one half the same thing as? So it'll be two three, and. Three. Do you see this? Yes. Three six and one half are the same thing. We're just trying to get it to a place that you can do both numbers. Yeah. Okay. So now what do I do? Two and two six. What not? Okay. Yes. So let's take three minus one and get two. Bring down our six. <laughs> three minus one is two. Okay. We got it all the way done except for one mild thing. Do you remember reducing? Oh, yeah. We have to reduce fractions always. Two will work. Two will go into both of them. Two will go into two how many times? A one. Two will go into six how many times? Three. Final answer, two and a third. Okay. Feel like you got it? Yep. All right, now, sometimes you're going to have to compare. Three-fourths compared to seven-eighths. And we have to get the same denominator, don't we? We do. So, four and eight. Okay? Okay. Four times one is four. Four times two is eight. Four times three is twelve. Okay. Eight times one is eight. Eight, eight, times eight two, works. Eight works. So, we don't have to do anything to this one, right? Yeah. It's already eight. So, I'm going to move this one and make it eight. So, to get from four to eight, what did I have to do? Um, four times two. Times two it. Okay. Oops, let's go this um, way. Times two times will two. be six. Times two equals six. So, is it fair for me to take three fours and make it six eights? Mm, yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, which one's bigger? Seven slices out of eight or six slices out of eight? Seven. Seven. Got it? Yep. That's lesson 116.